What has eight legs and flies? Give up? A floating octopus, of course. My name's Anna, and I'm from the Questacom Science Squad, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own floating octopus. You're going to need a plastic shopping bag, a pair of scissors, a modelling balloon, a balloon pump, and a piece of silk, wool or cotton cloth. Now the first thing you need to do is take your plastic bag and cut a 30 centimetre long, 2 centimetre wide strip out of it, like this one right here. Then you need to fold it in half and cut a strip all the way to the top. So it's a bit fiddly. Now right at the top you want to make sure that you leave a 1 centimetre gap. So you don't want to go all the way through the plastic bag. So cutting all the way to the top, there we go, and a one centimetre gap. Excellent. Now you need to do this three more times until you have an eight-legged octopus. Excellent. Now take your modelling balloon, fold it in half and cut it. Then tie off the half with two open ends and pump them up. Now at this point you need a friend. So luckily I've got Steve here. Hi Steve. Hi Anna. Now once you pump them up, you'll have something that looks like this. Great. Now we need to charge up the balloon. So grab your piece of wool, silk or cotton cloth and rub the balloons. Now if you don't have a piece of cloth, you can use each other's hair like Steve's doing right now. You'll know when the balloons are charged, when your hair is attracted to the balloon or if you hold the two balloons close together, you'll notice that they repel each other. Excellent. Now not only do you need to charge up the balloons, but you also need to charge up your octopus. So place your octopus on the table and then stroke it with your piece of cloth until it's nice and charged. 15 or so times should do it. There we go done. Excellent. Okay, now when you're ready, grab your balloons, throw your octopus in the air and see who can keep it in the air the longest. Are you ready, Steve? I'm ready, Anna. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> if you want to know why the octopus stuck to Steve or floated in the air, head to the Questacon Science Squad website. I'll see you next time.